I don't know how people feel about the rabbit. Regardless, they are a thing and are a part of the Rayman universe. They have video game, a TV show back in 2013, and have made cameos in multiple games like Smash Ultimate and Just Dance. In this video, I'm only going to be talking about Rayman Raving Rabbit 1, 2, and TV Party. All are minigame collection, but the first one didn't start as a minigame collection. Originally, Rayman was going to fight the rabbit very similar to Rayman 2 and 3, but the game changed during development. I actually remember seeing the first trailer for the game. In fact, I have a DVD with that trailer. But regardless, the first game, other than the GBA and DS version, is now a minigame collection. Minigame collection are something the Wii and DS era is known for. However, this game does stand out from the other, maybe because it's Rayman. Speaking of Rayman, I feel bad for him. The rabbit became more popular than him in its own game. In the second game, they become playable along with Rayman. In TV Party, Rayman isn't playable. Imagine not being able to play as the main character whose name is in the title. That's like if in Luigi's Mansion, where you play as Mario and you have to find Luigi and not the other way around. If you're looking for a good story out of the game like the platforming Rayman game, you're in the wrong place for that. In Rabbit 1, Rayman and whatever the things are get kidnapped, Rayman is for to entertain the rabbit by playing mini games. At first, the rabbit hated him, but as you progress in the game, they start to like him. Along the way, he collects toilet plunger to make an escape plan, which the plan worked for him. However, he forgot about something. <laughs> rabbit 2 only had an intro. It really only tells you that the rabbit have invaded Earth. It's not even worth talking about. It never goes anywhere beyond it one cutscene. In TV Party, the plot involved the rabbit getting stuck in Rayman TV from a lightning strike. In each cutscene, the rabbit constantly annoy him and Rayman throws something at the TV causing more damage each time until the TV break, releasing the rabbit. Each game operates differently from each other. In Rabbit 1, the minigame is set up to be played by one player. Some minigames require players to take turns for the one-player minigame for multiplayer. In Rabbit 2, it's the complete opposite of Rabbit 1. The minigames are made more for multiplayer. You don't have to worry about winning, and each one has a difficulty option. TV Party tried to do a combination of both one player and multiplayer minigames. On the back of the box, it tells you that there are 70 minigames in the first and 50 in the second and TV Party. But that isn't true. Some of them are the same, but made harder or different, like an extra rule or using different music for the rhythm one. The only mini games that remain similar in all three games are the rhythm and rail shooter mini games. The rail shooters have you shooting the rabbit with toilet plungers. The rhythm game had you swing the Wemo and nunchuck down at the right time. In Rabbit 2 and TV Party, the rhythm game act as a parody of the game Rock Band. All of the songs like Girl Just Wanna Have Fun and Born To Be Wild are cover versions by the Rabbit. Rabbit 1 had a good number of different mini games, and the weirdness fit well with the Rayman universe. 
I wish mini games like Bunny Don't You Too Paint are over and are ticklish were not a thing because they are too grown, odd, and weird. In the second game, the mini games have players doing things that the rabbit think people in the USA, Asia, Europe, and other places do. One mini game in the USA had players committing child abuse by hitting ill behaved rabbit. Is this game saying that the USA had a child abuse problem? I know this mini game like Rabbit Fool, Thou Art for Rabbit, and The Outfit, along with two racing games, but the food carrying game are too similar to each other. In the Burp mini game, you. You come, 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 come. All the mini games and TV party are TV and movie parodied. I love the idea, but a lot of the mini games are the same, but with a different level or music. It has the same issue as the second game, but worse. And the ones that aren't the same, other than rabbit wrestling, are unappealing. The games that are the same are just okay. How I Feel Shake It TV minigame is a beta version of the first Just Dance, with basic dancing and motion detection worse than the first Just Dance. All the music like Le Freak and ABC are the original version. Speaking of Just Dance, a lot of the songs from the Rabbit game are in the Just Dance series. After the TV party game, I stopped caring about the Rabbit for a while. I know about the other games, but I can't give an opinion. However, the Rabbit have teamed up with Mario of all people, and we got two great games from the crossover. If someone is curious about the minigame collection, they don't cost a lot. Or you could get Rabbit Party of Legend, which reused some minigame ideas from the previous game. As for Rayman, he got two great games after leaving the Rabbit, and will be teaming up with them in the Bart of Hope DLC. I'm not sure why I don't did like the rabbit. Maybe because of their goofiness. Because IQ is not their strong point. Ah. <laughs> 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 